tunashukuru Yesu kwa kutupa uhai na kutupa afya jema na kutuweka tukiwa na tumaini la uzima wa milele. Ninene mambo machache uh, kama mtumishi wa Mungu katika nchi ya Kenya. Na nijulishe nchi ya Kenya kwamba um, anytime God has an agenda for a people or for a nation he pursues his agenda to perfect his will and uh, God allows people to make the choices they want either to fit into his will or to go their own direction now October one and a half I mean uh, this is year 2024 that was year 2022 October year 2022 uh, the government of the nation of Kenya diverted from the course of God. And what is happening right now is as a result of total diversion uh, from the original purpose that God had for the nation. Any kind of a document or agreement that may have been signed with one, two, three, four people, three quarter. Somebody has not sought the will of God or the purpose of God for the nation. And the mountain of governance, three quarter of its operation is totally diverted from the will and the purpose of God for the nation. It is very scary because uh, the backup of that comes from in quotes, I call it a priestly group that uh, is able to reach these people. And instead of giving them the direction or the counsel of God, they team up and things are covered up, you know, as if they are going the direction of God. But the results are very off the track of the purpose of God. Now, does it mean uh, that uh, God will not do what he said for the nation? No, he will do, but using a very different generation, a very different breed, a very different priesthood. Uh, what are you going to We prepared you uh, before time, because when there's a diversion, this is uh, the spirit of God where I'm seated is reminding me a story of the children of Israel. You know, God began a journey with them, it was a journey of going to Canaan and in the course of that some of them decided to divert from the course what do we see God is not judging people like Joshua Caleb and uh, you know one other people uh, you remember it's only Joshua and Caleb who made it to Canaan uh, the people who messed up when Ken I mean when Achan messed up in the midst of the children of Israel he's uh, okay they they lost they lost some people here and there, you know, the great men of war. But then Akan paid for his mess. When uh, <laughs> when some people that when some in the nation of Israel, some people messed up in in the in the wilderness, they suffered. You remember the snakes, you know, beat so many of them and they died. Somebody was paying for their uh, for, for for their mess. Somebody was paying for their evil doings, and uh, this is where the nation of Kenya is. The people who are panicking, what will happen? I don't know what. Now the UN, I don't know, you know, I don't know the headquarters has been moved to Kenya. I don't know where. The fact is, the spiritual edges of the nation are broken. That the fact of the matter, and you know, that the, the, the truth of the matter which cannot be hidden it is in a public domain when you see some of these things happen the other day you people hosted uh you know uh, as somebody uh, in covered up in the name church in the nation when you see such kind of things or such kind of high operations in high places and supported by whoever is who you just know uh the, the spiritual hedges of the nation are broken now what where is the church the church of jesus christ is not affected because God has a remnant in the nation of Kenya and the church by the way 
uh, anything that I have been telling the church, the Church of Kenya and the church in the world because of the season we have entered into. I've been preparing you for the new world order, the new world operation, the new world religion, the new world currency, the new world um, you know, religion. Uh, that is where the world is headed to. And, uh, you know, we are, there is no panic in us. There's, because at the beginning of the season, God prepared us for the season. This is where I've been telling us we are doing it or living it. The Isaac way in the book of Genesis chapter 26. As the world, I mean, as the world will be going north. I've, I told you from the beginning, you know, I've been shouting and saying these things by the grace of God. So that we don't panic. The, on the other hand, the kingdom of God, the kingdom we belong into. This is what we are also seeing in Babylon. As the kingdom of darkness and its operation are continue to do what they are doing. Daniel is committed. Ramazi, Kata, Ramazi. Daniel is committed. Let me tell you, my brethren, there is such a commitment, a call for personal commitment in the things of God, in the ways of God, in the work of God and the work with God. Hallelujah. So that you are able to say no when it calls for that, when uh, the occasion demands for that, you should be able to arise as a person where you are and say no to any man of ungodliness. Hallelujah. Nations will come up with some rules and regulations. You know, and I told you from the beginning, I prepared you in 2019, you know, December, you know, I prepared us because all what is happening and uh, 2020, 21 December, we were there and, you know, God prepared us for the season and uh, everything that is being done uh, is, is meant to victimize the church. You know, it's meant to hurt the church. But can I tell you, the Bible says this church, ah, Ramazi, Kata, Ramazia, this church is built on the lock. Oh, the lock is Jesus and the gates of hell, the gates of hate cannot prevail against the church. So how do we overcome? How do we overcome? How do we live in this hour with victory or in a victory? How do we stand against the wiles of the enemy? Let me tell you, we must stay in the shelter of the Most High. We must abide in Him. We must be dwellers in that shelter. Hallelujah. So the, the on and off you know, should be a thing of the past. And this is a personal call. I, I don't know about you, but in the atmosphere right now, there is such a, you know, a call and a push of prophetic intercession. You are not struggling to pray. You're not you know, struggling to tarry hours in the presence of God. Let me tell you, if you are walking right with God, you can confirm this, that, you know, it, it is freely flowing. It is freely flowing. You know, that love of God, you know, you, you know, God has removed us from so many things and what, you know, we are yearning for is just to tarry in the presence of God. This is what God is telling Isaac. Stay in the land. I will show you. Stay where you belong. Stay where I want you to be you know maintain your position maintain your position despite what will happen the physical appearance and the physical currencies just maintain your, your your position you are a son of god be where i want you to be hallelujah and then other things are going to flow this is where we are going to enjoy the backup of god because if there is something the devil has been trying to distort right now is the positioning of the church it's about the positioning of the church and the minute you know joseph you compromise the standard of your kingdom you are moved from the position of you know of a son of God then Satan can do whatever he wants to do with you out there hallelujah and I'm also talking to the people who have fallen from the church of Jesus Christ kindly God has given us the ministry of reconciliation kindly turn back where you belong these are not the days of falling away the Bible says that we are not of those who turn back hallelujah we are not of those who turn back. and I'm requesting our brethren kindly don't rejoice when somebody in our camp has fallen back this is is a day of uh, you know encouraging each other building each other and bringing each other closer to the you know to God more than ever before hallelujah so the nation uh, we prepared us is on transition it has been on, it has been on transition and much of turbulence you're going to see coming from the mountain of governors and and uh, because the, the the atmosphere of the nation of Kenya spiritually it is so manipulated by the loopholes that have been created by the mountain of governors you know you know uh, you know, um, agreeing with, with some things and some bodies that are antichrist. That is what is happening. So the atmosphere of the nation is spiritually very tense. If you are carnal, you cannot discern this. You just throw and think it is just, you know, the oppression that is there. It is not just 
are, are not null oppression. This is coming because the, there is a loophole. The hedges of the nation, the spiritual hedges, are broken uh, because of the much compromise that came from from whatever is covered up, you know, covered up as charge, given or uh, given a uh, you know a leeway and an, and an opportunity to access the high places of the nation. But let me tell you, God has a remnant. We are there. We are there. God has a branch here, and uh, because of that, uh, I told you and I prepared you from the beginning. The target of the devil is about the seed of man. It's about the seed. It's about destroying the seed for the next generation. So the target is the youth. The target are young children. That is the target. And, and uh, when you and the, the other target is women. So that you know the whoop is, is destroyed. So we, we need to be on very very high alert. And that's why you are seeing retro mysterious deaths of young people. You know very very mysterious. You know another day a road accident. You know taking away a uh, very many young young people you know a generation a generation is affected you know i prepared you even about chemicals and all those things about the small children you're going to see this if they're not happening you're going to see them as we are speaking in the spirit as we prepare you so we need another thing is about women and uh, you know the target the hit back of the enemy and this is what we are seeing when the devil came to distort the agenda of god in the garden of eden he did not go to the man who had had God, he went to the woman where there was a, you know, where, where it was easy, where it was easy for him to access. The same case is a prior now. And that, that's why in my nation when we began year 2024, there were so many mysterious deaths of women because that, because there is a loophole. There is a loophole. There is a loophole of for that operation. Now, now how do we uh, how do we uh, can I say this? Because thank you Holy Spirit. Now, God in Kenya is dealing with us as an individual the judgment is released yes it is there and i'm telling you the people he covered up in charge who had an opportunity to put things in order in the nation and uh, and, and uh, you know push the nation to fitting into the agenda of god and the purpose of god and you have decided to just enjoy the delicacies of the king and, and not rebuke when you're supposed to rebuke or correct when you're supposed to correct let me tell you your cup is full your cup is full your cup is full and i'm, I'm requesting the church i know I, I even don't know how we have at this because it's going to be a plane crash in kenya that is going to cause cry you know it is going to be bad and it's it's one of the when you see that it, it's it's a judgment cup that is full you know and i'm saying god is dealing with us in the nation as an individual we shall, the Bible says, you know, the 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 the, the, the sculpture of the wicked will not rest in the land that is allotted or allocated to the righteous. God will never punish the righteous together with the wicked. We don't see that in Israel. We see when God is dealing with Egypt, you know, He's secluding the children of Israel. That is God. When the judgment has hit a nation, the righteous branch will not suffer. God will separate us. We are already separated. We are set apart. So as long as we live according to the prospect of God, this is what we are seeing. When God has seen the pervasiveness during the generation of Noah, he is not punishing Noah with that. And he's giving people 100 years. Imagine, Noah is building this ark 100 years. That is how patient God is. So Kenyans, many of us, we know what God has said, and we know the direction of God for the nation, but we have allowed wickedness in high places. So individually, even the people seated in high places in the government, with your wives and your children, you are not an exception. Let me tell you, the cup of the love of God in the nation of Kenya is full, and every one of us is going to be rewarded according to our works. And it is going to be a public thing. It is going to be a public thing. The people who are just amassing wealth for themselves, not minding about the needed, the poor, the orphans, and the widows. You know, uh, the other day, I, I know as I started in the presence of God, the, the Lord was reminding me this scripture that says, you know, you don't move. Then you know, the border of of the, of the lot of the need of the of, depending on the version of your Bible of the of the widows, you don't move. You know that the borders of their lot, you don't mess up with that. You don't mess up with what God has ordained for the needed people, the poor, the destitute, the Aryans, the widows. You don't touch that. 
Hallelujah. And people are, some people are just, you know, I am now seated on the seat of power. I can possess this building. I can possess this land. I can maneuver my way and get this. Let me tell you, the Bible is asking, what shall it profit a man if you gain the whole world and lose your own soul? Hallelujah. But you know now, we are in eight times. Um, uh, Second Timothy chapter 3, lovers of themselves. People become lovers of, them, of themselves. You know, people f having the form of godliness, but denying the power they are in, you know, or their love. Hallelujah. Actually, Paul is telling Timothy, from such, learn away. So the remnants of God's people, you cannot fit. You cannot fit because everybody is fitting. You cannot fit there. You are not everybody. That's why in some of these gatherings, you just see people gather and you just gather with them. You, you are not everybody. Sit back and know the reason. You know, some people are being labeled in the nation of Kenya to hijack the revival and to um, twist God so that they can be said they are the, they are, that's why they, every time they gather, they say, now revival has broken. You see that weed comes brrr, for those two, three days or one day. Then after that, there is nothing. There's no spiritual effect in the nation. There's nothing to show because it was not the weed of God. You know, the, when the weed of God grows, you know, everybody actually, even a, a madman in the market will experience it. Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> if pigs, you know, you remember that story about the demons that were just, you know, that were driven out from a certain man and they entered into the pigs. You can see how the pigs are behaving. Hallelujah. So if, when an encounter that is coming from God, you know, everybody should be able to feel it without anybody being forced to it. So um, I came to deliver that word. So what is the remedy of the hour? Because of the loopholes that are that are broken, I mean the hedges that are broken and the loopholes that have been created even internationally. You see some bodies that are antichrist, that are very wicked, that are propagators of the new world order that is paving way for the antichrist. Now what you are going to see, this is now, we spoke about these things before, but let me repeat this. You know, the kingdom of darkness, demonic altars are maintained by human sacrifice, by human blood. So what you are seeing is not just, it is, the Lord spoke to me this morning and he told me it's a very calculated, you know, demonic, demonic move, very calculated. The deaths and mysterious death you are seeing, the Lord accidents and all those, and targeting a particular, you know, a particular kind of a people, a, 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 you know, a particular kind of a, of a, of a generation. This is a very demonic targeted, uh, you know, move. And let me tell you, we need to pray. Kenyans, we need to pray because uh, more than what we have actually, I hear the Lord say, what we are seeing is just a, a peanut. What we are seeing just a, 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 a hassle of whatever the devil is planning against the nation. So I'm requesting the midwives, these are not the times of just eating and making out there. It is a time to, to, to stay in the hiding. This is what we are seeing, you know, until the plague was, you know, uh, the, you remember the story of the children of Israel. They were told by the your doorsteps, I mean, by, the, by your door, apply the blood, apply the blood, so that when the, the angel of death is passing by, you know, he will see the blood and pass by the houses of the children of Israel. We know what to do. Children of God, these are not the days of your children to be all over. Actually, these are the days. If God says, you know, uh, you know, do the homeschooling, just do it. This is where we are. Whatever formula God will give you, I am surprised, you know, because these things are really happening. We try to push something, uh, it does not fit in because why God is preventing us and protecting us from so many other things. No, God will, God will pre prevent us. You know, there's a place we say, no, like Daniel, no defilement. But then it is also called, I mean, it is also calling for divine strategy of this hour to be able to fit in into that which the Lord is doing. So the world will go the direction, the nation of Kenya, the government has taken a very different direction altogether from the purpose and the cause of God. You know, and what you're going to see, we prepared you from the beginning, you're going to see uh, bodies that are antichrist, bodies that are, you know, outward, uh, outward renown, you know, they, they don't, they, they're outchrist, I mean, they're antichrist. I know somebody is about to tell me, but the wicked are piling up the world for the sake of the righteous. Yes, but the agenda, if you pray the agenda that is there, it's to win the nation of Kenya and, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, and, um, and fix the nation of Kenya to fit into the new world order, you know, to, to become, you know, actually to become the center of the operation in Africa. They know when they win Kenya, you know, they, they have won Africa because Kenya is the father nation in Africa. And so th that is the, that has been the agenda of the enemy from the beginning. And we have spoken these things before and we have been praying and asking God to rescue the nation of Kenya. So I'm asking the church, that I'm 
I'm not talking about the uh, I'm church, I'm church. No, I'm talking about the remnants of God's people. Let us arise to the occasion. We shall not, you know, we shall not be silent and we shall not make God less until Kenya is established. So it's cause for waging war, it's cause for pushing in a place in a place of prayer, denying ourselves so many things so that we can midwife this for the sake of the generation of our children in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now I prepared you for strikes. I prepared you for uh, even uh, you know government um, uh, public officers. Hallelujah. For the first time you are going to see even people in offices you know doing their tools and they're striking. We prepared you for this. You have not seen even the teachers go. You have not seen many things. You know there's going to be a lot of disorganization because of the demonic loopholes that are there. Satan is able to access one two three things and distort one two three things because of the mountain the disorder the the, the the mountain of governance in the nation of Kenya must be restored back to the divine purpose of the nation. I know it is going to be an upper hill task because already the floor is going down as, as some people seated up there are signing documents day in and day out and and and, uh, and they're moving the direction of what they think you know is is the way they, they should be because of, of their own self uh, personal gain and, and desires. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, uh, despite it all and the process the children of Israel got into, it may have taken a very long time, but at the end of the day there is a branch, there is a remnant that got to Canaan. Hallelujah. And so this particular morning as a prophet in the nation by the grace of God, one of them, I want to decree that no matter what the devil tries, the nation of Kenya will get to the destiny that God ordained for, ordained for her. But then it calls for a certain branch, a certain people to arise to the occasion and maintain the order in a place of prayer by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. I love what the Bible says and we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. We are ruling and reigning with him. So where we are seated, let us arise to the occasion and do what we are supposed to do every day for the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is so, so faithful. So don't fear. Do what you're supposed to do. Uh, pray for your immunity. Uh, pray for your children. And if the Lord says today they tell them stay home, do what you're supposed to do. It is a time to be very alert in the spirit. When the spirit of God says everybody is traveling, tell your son or your daughter in that university not to travel. Tell them. Tell them. Just tell them. Don't travel. Don't be a part of that. Stay at home. Stay in school. Hallelujah. These are days to be very, very alert in our spirits. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So uh, the battle here is like what is happening in the book. That's what the Lord has told me. The book of Genesis chapter 3. And verse 15, the Bible says, And I will put an enmity, God speaking to the serpent, and I will put an enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed, and, and between your seed and her seed. So there is an enmity between the seed of man and the, the, the seed of the kingdom of darkness. That is where we are right now. The seed, you know, the seed of a woman and the, 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 the seed of the devil. Then there is now the enmity. And that, that, that enmity, I, I hear the spirit of God say, there is too much time of what in the spirit concerning the two seeds you know the seed of a woman that was preordained by god and the seed of the enemy that is in operation of these end times so there's going to be a lot of push and and push and pull and push and back and you know we are going to see that so in between there you know there are going to be so many casualties there are going to be so many casualties now stay stay alive and stay a rat and uh, let the word of god in the book of psalm 20 i mean psalm 23 psalm 91 and there's so many as other what you know scriptures in the bible you know be our portion in the name of jesus hallelujah so that is it you know so cushion cushion the destinies of your children pray for them the blood of jesus is still speaking better things partake of, partake of the lord's table the holy communion you know do that is what you know the lord's table it's called the lord's table we found it called the holy communion so let us partake of that in family levels i told you the fellowships of the church are being returned back to the home cells the home the houses and the family you know the the, the family i mean the, the the houses and the family you know altars are 
being restored back. So kindly do begin it now, begin it now, eat well, you know, avoid things that um, that are uh, eat well, eat well. Let the spirit of God open your eyes to eat well because they will distort the atmosphere very soon. You know, these things, you know, we are it so I uh, eat well as the spirit of God is going to avoid junk food, eat well and avoid sugary things, avoid those things. Let, let's 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 build our immunity. Let's build our immunity. Even as we are praying, Church of Jesus Christ, let's build our immunity. Let's eat well. Your fruits, God will order your steps where to buy fruits that are not, you know, chemically grown. You know, God is able to do that. And I'm requesting the church, you know, do your own farming. Do your own farming. Plant your own vegetables. Plant your own, plant your, get, have your own cow you can milk. Have your own, you know, those people who are able to do that. If you have a farm, you know, have your own. Let's, let the church have their own things. We have depended on the kingdom of darkness for a long time. They make our garments. They make our everything. They may produce our food. They do what? They, they treat us in hospitals because we have, we don't don't have our own. They, we take our children to their schools because we don't have our own. So Church of Jesus Christ, it's a high time. We have a grace period of seven years from 2023 to 2030. So, on, I mean, I mean uh, let us arise and take over, you know, take in whichever capacity, arise and, and become that which God has ordained in the seven mountains of influence by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So I've spoken to the nation of Kenya. I leave that, the, I leave that word there. And the priests that are able to access the state house of of the nation of Kenya. Let me tell you, you think you are safe, you are not safe. You are not safe. I'll tell you like most Mordecai is telling Esther, you know, you think you are safe. You you know, you think you are safe because now you are the queen there. You think you are safe because you can access there. You think you are safe. Even if you don't act on anything, the help of the church in Kenya will come from somewhere else. But it will come from somewhere else when some of you have been cleared from the way by God's own, you know, by God's own orchestration. Because God has to do it in the name of Jesus. So the the, the, the current government, kindly pray for yourselves. Pray for yourselves. I know uh, this word, uh, you know, people are able to take it here and there. And tell them to pray for themselves, to pray for themselves and the generations of their children. Because the minute they misguide the nation and do things that are not godly, let me tell you, it will flow to the generations of your children and it may really become a tough thing even for them to be able to finish their term. It's going to be very difficult, very, very difficult because God, you know, Kenya belongs to God and he will not just in heaven and watch when the nation is being taken the direction of the new world order. God will not allow because God has an agenda and a purpose for the nation. So may the Lord um, be glorified and may the Lord protect us and may the Lord watch over us. May the, the remnants of God's people uh, maintain the purpose of God for their lives and you are going to enjoy the faithfulness of God in Jesus' name. Remain in a place of prayer and love the word of God. Shalom, God bless you.